Zander Mellish. When you're just starting to learn Danish, some people may tell you that Danish and English are very much alike. Now, in some ways they are. The Vikings invaded England several times and left behind their language as well as their genes. The Danish word sku, for example, cloud, became the English word sky, and they're written exactly the same. Ul, Danish beer, is ale in English. But in some ways, English and Danish are not alike, and that can cause problems. Back in the days when I was learning French, they called them false friends, faux amis, words that look identical but mean entirely different things. The one I noticed first when I arrived in Denmark was slut. Slut means finished in Danish, but the same four letters in English, S-L-U-T, spell slut, which is a not a very nice name for someone usually a lady, who is very friendly in a naked kind of way. When I first arrived, I remember seeing magazines with the woman's name and face on the cover, and it would say in big letters, SLUT! I thought, wow, that's harsh. That's a nasty thing to call that poor lady. But of course, it was in Danish, just saying, SLUT. That lady was finished with something, with her relationship, with her TV show, with her handball tournament. Not SLUT. But slut, slut still gets me sometimes, and so does hook. H-U-G in English spells hug. It's a nice thing you get from your sweetheart or your grandma. But in Danish, H-U-G spells hook. A hook is a karate chop. If you get a hook from someone, it hurts. Nobody wants that kind of hug. Another one that drives me crazy is student or student in Danish. In English, a student is anybody who goes to school, anybody who's learning something. You could be five years old, you could be 85 years old. That's not true in Danish. A student is someone who has finished studying, or at least has finished the big student exam that 18-year-olds take before going on to higher education. You're not a student until you've taken that exam. G-I-F-T, gift in English, like a birthday present. In Danish, G-I-F-T is gift, poison. So if you see a package with the word gift and a skull and crossbones, it doesn't mean there's been a birthday party for a pirate. Gift, poison, will kill you. Coincidentally, gift is also the Danish word for getting married. And that's the How to Live in Denmark podcast for this week. This week's podcast is sponsored by PerfectEnglish.deco. If you're a Danish company or a Dane doing business abroad, perfectenglish.deco can help you avoid the kind of mistakes we talk about in this podcast. Check them out at perfectenglish.deco. Music arranged by George Garvis. See you next week. Remember, the How to Live in Denmark book is available for download on Amazon.com. You can read it on any phone or tablet. All you need is the Kindle app, and the Kindle app is free. The book's not free, but it's not very expensive either. If you read the book and enjoy it, please leave a review on your local version of Amazon.com. It helps other people find the book and find the podcast.